Good evening. Good evening. You know, the, the Trump administration, they, uh, they really inspired something in all of us. Because just a few years ago, I would have never done this. And many of us would have never been here. I want to remind everybody, because I think it rem bears reminding, that uh, County Executive Tedesco's victory is a victory for all minorities. And over the time that the Muslim community has gotten to know you, back when you started in Paramus as mayor, all the way to your ascent to county executive, you stood with our communities in our biggest moments. Of course, in our moments of happiness, but also in our moments of pain. And um, we are missing one very important member of our community today. Brother Dean McCowey. Dean McCowey would have loved to be here. He would have loved to see you win. It may be difficult for the crowd to imagine that just two years ago, excuse me, two decades ago, there was very little public outreach to the Muslim community in Bergen County. Because back in those days for the Muslim community, already numbering in the tens of thousands, there were very few elected officials who had the fortitude of mind and heart to stand with the American Muslim community. In larger and in smaller politics, there was a certain hesitation when it came to political interaction with Muslims. And so we weren't very much engaged by our politicians. And because of that, we weren't engaged very much with our politics. But with County Executive Tedesco in office, things began to change. We saw more desire from our elected officials to engage with and in our communities, to understand the hopes and fears we have for ourselves and the hopes and fears we have for our children. And on the most basic level, to understand us as human beings and our way of life. So necessity is the mother of all invention. And after being on the receiving end for so long, Today, now, there is an unmistakable, palpable change in the way that our community perceives the necessities of political participation. For the Muslim community, I want to make it very clear, there's no more turning cheeks now. Our young have the highest aspirations for holding office, and they're eager to help the cause. And Bergen County is a neighborhood of friends. And the Muslim community, in belief and in outlook, in word and in practice, in contribution and in expectation, will always stand by our friends. And who are our friends? Every single person in this room and the communities that they represent are our friends. Being deeply rooted in Bergen County over the last few 50 years, we are as numerous as ever, as wealthy as ever, and as politically engaged as ever. This last election, we had 150 youth volunteers kids that don't want to get out of bed on a Saturday morning, manning phones, knocking door to door, reminding our community members to vote. And I'm proud to say, reminding people who had never voted before. And so rest assured, we reminded them who we voted for. <laughs> It was a nail-biting election, and the turnout was incredible. Our party loyalty is unshakable and unbreakable. And remember one thing, we never turn on our friends. And there is another thing. And for the record, I want to state 
if there is ever going to be one person who is guaranteed the stage at our Eid prayer with thousands in attendance, then that man is Jim. Our community is bent on making sure that Bergen County stays Democrat. Because with the Democratic Party, we know we're betting on the right horse. You have the full confidence of the Muslim community. And we know that every human being, regardless of faith, ethnicity, outlook, or orientation, is safe under your office's watchful eye. Once again, congratulations, and we look forward to our partnership.